Welcome viewers. Today on the table we have Nighty. Get back over here in the spotlight. We want to see you. It's the month of Halloween and we worship black cats. Hey, give me back my guy. Shh, spoilers. Well anyway, back to what I was saying. Welcome viewers. Today I will be doing a tour review on Scooby Doo Crystal Cove Fright House playset. And it, yeah, this, this looks awesome. Look at it, it's a cute little lighthouse. It's, it's adorable. So, I figured since it was October and it's a month of spooky stuff and Halloween, that I'd review these cute little Scooby-Doo sets I have. I have two others besides this, and I'll be showing them throughout the month, so if you like this one, make sure to watch out for the other two. And also, make sure to watch out for my Halloween special, which I have planned a very exclusive and special mega construct pokemon especially for halloween so make sure to watch out for that but today we're talking about this boy this very very tall boy but yeah so i just had this line around i figured i'd review it because it's super cute and it really is awesome for this month we got a lot going on so i'm just going to start with the front right now all right, for the first awesome play feature of this set, I kind of had to turn down the lights for you to really see it. But apparently, if we twist this little tiny school right here on top of the lighthouse, the lighthouse will light up like that. And then you will see little bats flying around. Help. Oh. And yeah, it will do that and it will glow and you can kind of see the little makeouts of bats. I think that's super cute. I really like that feature. The next feature we have is this little trap, well not a trap door, but this little button right here on this, um, what is it called? Staircase. Yeah, that's it. We'll open. Um... So anyway, back to what I was saying, if you press this little button right here, the door should fly open. So let's take our little uh, helper for the day and let's test this out. So for instance, you know, he's walking up, press down it, boom, the door will fly open and he will walk in. Get out of the way, boy! And then once our little um, zombie man makes it upstairs finally, he'll walk right over here onto this wonderful, totally not trapped whatsoever, um, floor right here, we'll press this little rock and, uh, luck. Okay, this is how you should fall. Yeah, there, boom, you fell. And yeah, that's what should happen, except he shouldn't get stuck. That guy, he, he just got lucky. The next feature I have to show you guys is also in the dark as well. When we press down this little stone seagull, it will do that, and also it should project the image of the Scooby-Doo logo right there, and I think that's pretty cool, like awesome little projection. That's really good for one of the, for a toy to project that well, because that's pretty clear. And when you press the seagull again, that happens. All right, so now we're finally moving all around on into the inside. And apparently this little school and this bookcase, this is very important up here. So if I were to press this school, that would happen, but I'm trying to be careful. But yes, these books pop out like this and you can reload them easily. They come apart like that. And then you can just snap them on back together and then just slide them back onto the bookcase. And there we go, there you have that awesome little trap. And also while we're up here at the library, this little book right here blends in with the same color as this table, a nice little lilac. You can actually open it and then there's a little skull impression right here. So if you were to have the, um, some clay, for instance like this stuff, I'm not gonna open it because I wanted to keep this in the packaging. This is the original stuff that came with the set and it's not open, so I'm not gonna open it. But if you were to have some clay of some sort, you could make a mold of a skull, push it between the books, and boom, you'd have a skull. So that's pretty cool, and then it just sits right there on that nice little bookshelf. Yes. Down here, we have an awesome little spooky spinny scare. Eh, eh, eh. We have a spooky spinning staircase. Man, that's a tongue twister. But yes, it will wobble like this, back and forth, just twisting. 
So if a person tried walking on it, you know, they, they go like that. <laughs> Boom. That's how you keep people from going upstairs. And the last little feature we have right here in the cave is this little rat right here. As you can see, it will slide across the floor when you push it. It'll go forward like that. And, oh wait, there's a button. I'm so smart. Wow. But yes, there's a button so you don't have to push it. It go forward, it go back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward. Forward, back. Forward, back. For and yeah, there we go. That's just about most of the obvious features, I suppose. We also get this little coffin and you open it, boom, there's a body mold in here. This was actually for the original clay right here. This is, this actual set, the whole point of this set was morphine monsters. That's basically what this was and you were able to create these little monsters with some of the little pieces we got right here. We got a couple arms and legs and mouth and eyes and stuff. And yeah, that was actually kind of the gimmick of this thing. So you needed the lighthouse to build the bodies for these monsters. And if you bought packs of the Scooby-Doo figurines, which came in two packs, I believe, then you could get more pieces and then make any kind of monster you want and stuff. So that was basically what this whole lighthouse was created for. Here are the arms and the legs and the mouth and the pieces it actually came with. And that's a heart. But yeah, that's basically all it came with. And then there's a couple little extra bonus features that come with this set. And here's just a quick little recap of some of the glow in the dark features in a more darker setting so you can actually see them better. Um, yeah, I really like this set. I think it's super adorable and perfect for the Halloween time. And as a, and again, as I said, I will be making some, a couple other little Scooby-Doo ones as well. I have two other sets, so make sure to look out for those. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great October so far. Sorry videos are a little slow coming out, but I'm, I'm getting better. School, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, viewers. If you want, you're welcome to subscribe or leave a comment. If not, just have fun watching my videos because I love to make them. And I hope you guys are going to be having an awesome October. <laughs>